So let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 14 over 35. We can do it. So um, right now, we're gonna do not so easy factoring because we're dealing with three z squared. So if it was z squared, so we would have, we would have just get like um the z on h parentheses, right? So so that when we multiply, it's gonna give us z squared. So we wouldn't have the three z or anything like that, which make you much more complicated. And when we take a look to it again, so we we'll still see that there is nothing common. There is there anything? Obvious that we can take so to factor the whole equation that we have, so we still gonna use the same parentheses. We're still gonna use pretty much the same thing that we used before. But one thing that we learned before that will be really helpful for this video is the in and out method, because we will use it a lot so that we can verify the numbers. So right now, let's get into it. So you obviously will have the two parentheses, right? To factor it, to factor the equation, and your main preoccupation will be the negative five, and the three z squared. So the first question that you need to ask yourself is, how am I gonna use the two parentheses so that I can make come up with something? One, so multiply, multiply it will give you three z squared, and the only thing that I'm thinking about right now is doing three z on the first one, and z squared on the second one. Why do you need to do the 3z on the first one and this one on the second one? So it's just because once you will take the 3z and you will distribute it to the other factor, to the other parentheses, right? So it's going to be 3z by z, which is going to be equal to 3z by 3z. We have 3z, 1 plus 1, 3z squared, and Distribute it, distribute it to the three. That will get the three. Three, three. That's the same thing. Three z squared. So there we go. So once we'll do that by putting the three z on the first one and z on the second one, so we will come up with the three z squared. So that's the way that you have it. And if it was four x squared, for example, we would have come up with two x on the first one and two x on the second one. Because when you add them to when you multiply them together, it would have gave you four x squared. If it was six x squared, so you would have put three x on the first one and two x on the second one. Three by two six x by x by x x squared. So it's pretty easy, you know. But it's a has you doing it, so it will be really for easier for you to come up with your own solution on numbers. So keep practicing. Don't get to it, that's just a simple phase. Mm, I'm erasing my camera. So right now, we're gonna go back to our problem. So the our two priorities are the A term and the C term. The A term is the three Z squared. We already solved that, so we already know. We're gonna factor it and the Z squared. So we're gonna come up with two numbers, one so multiply, multiply it, it will give you the the negative five and we'll use the in and out method at the end so that we can verify those numbers and make sure that those numbers are actually the numbers that can be used to factor the equation that we have right now on the problem so negative five which numbers can give you negative five which numbers when you multiply them um the answer can be negative five so the only num the numbers that i'm thinking about are positive 5 and negative 1 it can also be positive 1 and negative 5 and nothing else so we're gonna use those numbers so in the first one we can put um plus positive 5 and negative 1 when you do positive 5 and negative 1 by negative 1 is gonna give you negative 5 yes it does give you negative 5 but how do you know that the numbers are the numbers that you should have been using? So in order to know the numbers are the good numbers, so you can use the in and out method that I showed you guys in the previous videos. So we're going to multiply their inner, multiply their outer, and add them, and it, should give you, and it should give you the middle term, which is the B term. If it doesn't give you the B term, 
just know that the numbers that you use are the wrong numbers so you can either do you can do two things in this case so you can switch them around because sometimes when you do switch them around so the solution change or you go and find new numbers those are your only two options when the numbers doesn't really match oh not doesn't really match when the numbers don't, don't match so we're gonna get into it so we choose to go with five and negative one so we're gonna start by multiplying the inner which is 5z multiplying by the outer which is 3z by negative one which is equal to negative z so we have five and three five z minus 3z which is equal to 2z is um 2z equal to 14z or it's not equal to 14z so therefore five positive five and negative one are not the numbers in the solution or i possibly made a mistake because i already did it but the <laughs> that was the numbers of the solution uh, let's get into it guys in z square so 5z and just not the numbers of the solution so we're gonna switch them around because yeah it's gonna be 5z yeah we're gonna switch them around when you do switch them around so I have the 3z right and the z so negative one and positive five Multiply the inner 1z or z, but I put that on one so that other people don't get confused and actually see what I'm doing. And 3z by 5 is actually 15z, it's gonna be 15z, so it's like um, negative z by 15z. We're gonna keep the sign of the greatest number, which is 15, and subtract it, so it's gonna be 14 plus 14z or just 14. Z. So is 14z equal to b? Yes, 14z is equal to b. So therefore, our numbers are negative 1 and positive 5. Like I said at the beginning, so you can get the right number, right? And for some kind of reason, not for some kind of reason, so you can possibly get the right number maybe on the first try. But it might not give you the solution that you're actually waiting on. And you have two options when you have the numbers and the solution doesn't match. So you can either switch them around and redo it again or just go change the number and redo the whole process. So don't be afraid if you don't find the answer because I think the name of this method is called um, trial and error, some kind of thing like that. So you have to try harder to give you have to try different numbers numbers in order to get the correct number so don't feel discouraged or anything like that so just keep doing keep pushing find the right numbers so that you can do the match and always go back to the in and out method when it comes to verify because that's the only method that you can actually use to verify the number numbers that you actually got or the numbers that you should be using so let's go into 15 over 35.